Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb. I make lifestyle content about all of the different parts of my life. And today I am filming a packing video, which tends to be a subscriber favorite style of video, which always tickles me because it's just packing but I love watching packing videos as well, so I do understand. Every time I do a packing video, people are like, next time you go on a trip, will you do another one? So here I am. So we are flying out tomorrow morning for the long Easter weekend. Um, if you are watching this on Easter, which I think is the day that this video is going live, happy Easter. So we leave tomorrow morning, our flight is at like 10 a.m. and it's about two o'clock on Thursday, the day before. So I have not actually packed a single item yet, but I've been thinking about it all week. And yesterday I did the bulk of all of our laundry, my kids and our, my husband and my laundry. And then I just threw the last load into the dryer. I always, always, always do laundry before I start packing because there's nothing that is more frustrating to me than when I'm trying to pack. And I'm like, oh, well, I need to remember to pack that, but it's dirty. Or I need to remember to pack that, but it's in the washing machine. No, I just wait until every single thing is clean and then I start packing. We are only going for just like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we come back on Monday. So it is not a long trip and um, we really just need comfy clothes that we can hang out with our family in with the exception of Easter Sunday morning. On Easter Sunday in the morning, we're going to church and then we're having a family brunch. So for that, we're gonna be wearing dresses and you know, nicer clothing. The boys will be wearing button downs and whatnot. So I am going to kind of start thinking through everything. I think I'll probably start with outfits for everyone to wear tomorrow, not including my husband. When I say everyone, I mean me and the kids. I always pack for me and the kids and he packs himself. And so that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna get outfits out and ready for me and the two kids for tomorrow and put those to the side. And then I really just need after that, like probably three more for them, like play clothes kind of outfits and then each of their Sunday best sort of outfits. Um, I also would like to, we have our babysitter coming this afternoon, like in another two hours or so, just for a few hours. Sometimes I do that on a week before we travel so that I can pack while she's with the kids. She can go take them to the playground or something and I'll have some time. I also think I probably need to run into town to go to Walmart or something and grab, um, a couple of different things. So if I have time, I'll do that. If not, I'll just have to get it when I get, you know, to Maryland. There's obviously, there's stuff everywhere. But that's kind of what the plan is. Um, thank you to those of you who have reached out on social media or wherever over the past week or so, um, not quite a week, over the past three or four days after the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was struck and collapsed. I'm sure you've seen it, it has been all over the news. That is where I'm from. And it is a major, major thoroughfare. And I cannot believe it. Like I'm still in shock, I just can't believe it. Thankfully, I didn't have any loved ones who were directly impacted, but for the whole city of Baltimore, it's just absolutely devastating and so sad. And I know there are people who, at this t period of time, like at this point, who are still missing. And of course, a lot of folks lost their lives. Just really, really, really sad. Um, for those of you not familiar, this was a one and a half mile bridge on a main highway system in the area, like the most main one really, and a heavily, highly used highway system. Baltimore is a very big port city, it always has been, and so this is just layers of problematic, just really, really problematic for the infrastructure of the city, um, the economy of the city, and then just generally like, <laughs> the the general logistics of navigating around like it's not like there wasn't a lot of traffic before and now it's just a hot hot mess so my heart goes out to anyone who was more directly impacted but just for the whole city of Baltimore it's just like it's been rough um I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it so anyway putting that to the side um with all the love in my heart I'm going to work on packing I'm excited to see my family tomorrow and uh, just all that stands between now and then is just getting some clothes packed. So let's go ahead and do that. Thanks so much for being here for this packing video. I ended up getting done a lot more than I had intended. I just kept going. So I have the kids outfits for everyday picked out, 
my outfits for every day picked out, all of our PJs and just like extras, and then Easter stuff is over there. So let me just walk you through. So this is what I'm going to wear to the airport tomorrow. I'm going to wear like a tank and then in this oversized quarter zip with some leggings. So I'll be comfortable um, in the airport. And then the next day, which will be Saturday, we're, we don't have any plans. We're just going to be hanging out around the house. So I just have, again, leggings and like a comfy sweater, crop sweater thing. Same thing for the next day, which is Sunday. So obviously in the morning on Sunday, I will be in my Easter dress, but I'm guessing that at some point I'll want to change into comfies. So I'll either change into this or I can just change directly into my PJs. And then on Monday when we come home, another same idea. So very, very casual. I did pack a, um, this top is cute. It, it has like a mock neck and it can be dressed up, tucked into jeans. I can put on some jewelry and uh, make it like a little bit nicer. It's still casual. But if we decide to go out to dinner or something and I don't want to wear leggings, then I can just do that. And then I just brought one pair of pajamas for the, well, it's only three nights. And then um, one workout outfit. So I have leggings and a sports bra and a tank top. And then I'm bringing my denim jacket so that I can um, layer that over my Easter dress on Sunday morning because it is supposed to be pretty chilly. So that's everything that I have. And then all of my socks and undergarments are here. And then I'll probably just wear whatever bra I wear tomorrow. I'll just wear for the whole time. Probably. I probably don't need more than one. Um, and then for the kitties over here, so I have outfits for them for tomorrow and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and at the end here, I have them each an extra outfit for if they get wet or dirty or whatever. These are, um, this is a sweater for Colin and I just got this. Isn't this adorable? A little sweater for Nora for um, Easter Sunday because again, I don't think it's going to be super warm when we get up in the morning and that way they can be comfy and then pairs of pajamas for Colin pairs of pajamas for Nora I have to do one for every night not only because they're adorable but because they usually hang out in them in the morning and eat breakfast and they need to be washed after that because there's typically syrup or yogurt or fruit or something on the PJs um, and then for Easter dresses and outfits for this year this is Nora's for this year so so cute I had bought a different one and then I saw this at a boutique when we went away with my in-laws and I just loved it so much that I got it. And then Colin is just wearing this cute light blue button down. He's never even worn it. I think it was like $8.98 from Walmart. It's a really nice fabric. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of stretchy. So I thought these went well together. Um, you know, just like blue and kind of neutral and easy. And then he's just going to wear a little cute little pair of khakis. And then I'm wearing this, which is, you can kind of tell, it's kind of like smocked up in the chest. And then it's like a tiered dress. It's a midi and it has puffed sleeves. I'll pop in a picture of me trying it on. I really like it. I think with some gold jewelry, some wedges, and then, uh, like I said, I'll wear that denim jacket to church. Um, hopefully be able to take it off later in the day when it's a little bit warmer. But I think that'll be cute. It's not, you know, this doesn't match exactly, but it's good enough. It's not like we're, we're not necessarily clashing, although I don't know, gingham and flowers, whatever. I didn't have time to do a whole <laughs> coordinating thing. Plus, I don't wear these colors. Oh, I'm getting a special note under the door. <laughs> I don't wear these colors. Um, they wash me out. So I had to choose something that I was going to feel good in as well. So that's everything. I'm going to go ahead and pop everything into packing cubes and um, work on my toiletries and makeup because all of this is just about done. So here's her little extra outfit. And then these are her just day-to-day -day outfits. We are just going for easy and casual because she's just going to be playing with her cousins and... Uh, I want her to be comfy. Oh, I need to leave one out for tomorrow. I will put her in this one tomorrow. Nice and comfy, just leggings and a striped top. And then these can be for the other days. And then here 
are her pajamas. Here's her sweater for Easter. Since I last picked up the camera, I put the wedges that I'm going to wear for Easter in a little bag just so that they don't get dirty, or they don't get other things dirty, I should say. Same with Nora and Colin's shoes for Easter, and then we'll all three just wear comfortable tennis shoes to the airport and probably most of the rest of the time. And then this is my little travel charger. I have like a travel Amazon favorites storefront list. So I'll link that below and a lot of this stuff is in there like packing cubes and these little bags and this case for the um, Revlon and all that kind of stuff. So um, the this is for my watch and then on the other side is for my phone. So that's all I need. And then these are for the kids travel um, tablets and their travel headphones. And then this is from my shop. It's just a laundry bag. I bring it every time. Like I said, this is for that Revlon One Step Styler. I also fit a flat iron and a um, curling iron in there as well. All of my makeup, I just took the makeup. I'm just going to use and put it in here. Um, all of my jewelry in here. A hairbrush. Um, here are all my toiletries. So this is like a bunch of, I don't know, it's like random. This is mostly skincare. And then I have like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, deodorant, lotion, all in here. Um, and then I'm staying with my parents, so I can always borrow anything that I would need from my mom. But this one, you can roll it up or a lot of times when I'm packing it, I just fold it in half. And then it's kind of like the size of like a sweatshirt or something. It's great. Over here, I um, have been crafting. So let me set my camera up so I can show you. Okay, this video is not sponsored by Cricut. I know I have a few sponsored by Cricut videos, um, but this is just, I really genuinely love it. And so this is what I was doing. What I've been doing, I should say, for this trip. So, one second, let me get something for comparison's sake. I have a little boy who is just so tired and it's about an hour until bedtime and he's having a hard time. He is with an adult. Um, so our kids, we since because my family lives across the country ever since they were babies, we've traveled by airplane a lot. And from the time they're like two-ish, we have had travel tablets for them, um, just the Kindle Fire tablets, for them to play games and watch TV while we are on the airplanes. For our family, this has been a really great resource. It has worked really well while we're traveling and then we pack them away when we are not traveling. That's just what we do in our family. So each child has one, has had one that's this size. Now this is like a really decent size. It reminds me of an iPad, but it's pretty big and bulky and heavy when we're carrying two of these in our carry-on luggage. And I know that Amazon makes a smaller version. And so I've been thinking for a while that really I would like to trade these in and get the smaller versions because I think it would be easier for little hands to hold and just lighter and easier to travel with. Also, I don't know what, yeah, you can see. I did self-tanner today and I haven't rinsed off the bronzer yet, so it's looking like a little wonky still. But before bed, I will take a shower, rinse off all the bronzer, and everything will be even. I'm obsessed with my self-tanner. Actually, I can pop in a picture here that I took today that I shared to my subscribers on Instagram stories saying, this is the best self-tanner, and I will link it below if you're interested. Okay, so this is the size of their old ones. Now, I did go ahead, and I haven't done the trade-in yet. I wasn't sure if we would need the old ones in order to, like, set up the new ones. We don't. Um, but this is the new size of the one that we got. So much smaller, much smaller, and much lighter. Like, it's night and day difference. So Kali got this cute blue one to replace this big giant one. Um, and then... I cut vinyl to say Colin and put it in here and then I got them both some Bluetooth headphones. 
because we just normally put the tablets on mute or I have wired headphones and neither of them seem to work really well. They have these like silly little ears. The ears snap off. I, I was like, Riley was laughing at me. He's like, are you putting those ears on those headphones? I'm like, I feel like the kids would like them, but they're kind of goofy. Um, so yeah, I got these to go with this. And so now each child has like their little travel tablet bag um, with a much smaller, much lighter tablet inside. Um, but they actually don't know about these new ones yet. So we're gonna try to make our plane ride tomorrow <laughs> um, even just easier by surprising them with like new headphones and a new tablet and these fun little, Colin I don't think will care much about these little cases, but Nora will think it's fun that her name is on there. So here's Nor Nor's, same thing, same bag. Um, her tablet I think is really cute. It's like pink and purple. Love it, nice and small. And then she has the same headphones in the pink color. Um, if you are planning on buying a Fire Kids tablet for your kids for traveling or for whatever, but I know people use it for car rides or traveling. We really use it for traveling. Um, I, although the, the, the larger ones are higher definition and they're really nice, unless if you are carrying your child's stuff I would get the smaller ones. If your child is old enough to carry a backpack with his or her own stuff inside, then get whatever size you want. Cause that one, that the bigger one is definitely more HD. It's like a nicer tablet, but it's also, I mean, it's heavy. It's like carrying two bulky, big iPads plus their headphones, plus everything else that we're already carrying. And anyway, I think the smaller ones are gonna be like so amazing. I also, <clears throat> these are also gonna be our new travel snack bags because I feel like this will be fun to put it like in their, it's their responsibility to choose when they wanna have their airplane snacks or airport snacks, but they each get a bag and they each have the same thing. And I thought this was cool. This is like that heat transfer vinyl, but it's like kind of this shimmery. I thought that was kind of fun. So let's see what's inside. So for Nora's, these are shelf stable, which are great. They're yogurt pouches and they're three ounces. So you can take them on an airplane and they're shelf stable. We bring these with us every time we travel so they don't need to be refrigerated. And then I just have two of these little mini cliff bars. The kids love them. And then I have some treats um, because they'll think these are fun. So some fruit snacks, some little mini jelly beans, and some a little mini, um, m and So I think this will be helpful if they're hungry, if they're snacky, if they want something, we can just say, this is your snack pouch. You can choose whatever you want. They both have the same things and they can eat. I don't care when they eat them. If they want to eat them all in the airport before we get on the airplane, I would discourage that because I think they're going to get hungry on the airplane, but like I, they can do whatever they want. Um, we are working on personal and individual responsibility and the repercussions, good or bad, of personal choices with both kids right now. And so I feel like this is a good way to instill that in like a very low key way. It's like, these are your snacks, eat them when you want. If you eat them too fast, you're not gonna have any, whatever. But neither of our kids are, they'll both probably want the candy, but they're they're not probably gonna eat all of them, but that's fine. It's a, it's a trip, it's fine. Um, so those are all gonna go into our carry on and then I also need to get diapers and wipes and kind of get the carry on like set up and pulled together. Um, so let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so here's our diaper bag. I think it's by a company called like Babble Roo or something, yes. And uh, we have been using it for a while now. We really like it and it has been great, especially with two kids because it holds a lot. Okay, so this is a little pouch with diapers and wipes. We always like to do it like this because then it's easy to take the kids to the bathroom or take Colin to the bathroom to change his diaper. We're just about to start potty training um, when we get back from this trip. So this might be the last, that's actually really cute and sad, the last time to pack diapers, but also not that sad to be honest. Okay, so Nora's little tablet. Gosh, these are just so much smaller than the old ones. I can't even explain to you. I'm fine with those kind of being stuffed in there. Although, I mean, they're pretty good. There's space. Okay, so that's that. Then we will do snacks in this middle pocket. For the kiddos.
And then I just slid their birth certificates. Um, usually because they're not lap children, nobody asks for them anymore, but I always like to have them just in case. And then down here at the bottom, these are disposable toilet seat covers, which are really helpful with toddlers <clears throat> who touch everything in the bathroom. Um, and then in the next compartment over, these are disposable bibs, which we don't really need anymore, but every once in a while we pull them out. Like for example, when we went to Disney most recently over, um, well, right before Christmas, Nora was wearing a princess dress after she had gone to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, and then she wanted an ice cream or a popsicle or something, and I did put a bib on her for that because, you know, I didn't want her to ruin her new princess dress. So it, I do like having a couple on hand just for things like that. And then these straws are left over from our Disney trip, if you know, you know. Um, but I also always like to keep at least two in here just because sometimes... If a place doesn't have a straw or they hand our kids a cup or something, it's just easier to have a straw. And then there shouldn't be anything in this front pocket. No. Um, and so that is that is all that will go in here. And then we normally, um, well, I might slide sippy cups, like water bottle sippy cups into the sides for each of the kids. Um, and then this will be for them. And then I'm going to get my carry-on ready here in just a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this as my carry-on this time. I know I just got that foldy bag and that bag is amazing, but this trip is so short that I really don't think I need that much storage space. I think something like this will be great. And so what I'm actually gonna do, this is from Amazon. I've had it for a while now and I really like it. It's just like a faux leather, simple tote bag. It has a, one little pocket on the inside, um, but I reach for it a lot. I, I do use it quite a lot, I really like it. It's a slightly smaller size than the Rothy's bag I have in the in a very similar style. And I do like to have one that's like, this is more of like a medium size and that one's more of like a large size. So just a personal preference. Okay, another, if you know, you know, this weird, I don't know why I picked this pattern, but it's a sunglass case and I've had it forever. So I'm going to pop that in. I'll just pop that, I always keep it in there. And then my wallet, I just recently got this wallet from Quince to match this crossbody, um, which is also from Quince. It's beautiful, like Italian leather. I really like it. So what I'm actually going to do is um, pack this inside here like this so that when we are in town, if I don't want to bring a bag, I can just bring this. I like that idea. It's just going to pop that in there like this and that way it's in there and then through the airport I'll probably just wear this when you have to get your ID out and all that kind of stuff and then you know I'll hook this on the stroller or whatever and then again I always have my essentials pouch so this thing goes with me wherever I go it has everything you could ever want um, from like a drink holder it has a thing of lipstick it has hand sanitizer mints chapstick this is a newer addition to it that I absolutely love. So it's like a travel medicine cabinet and you can obviously label it, but I know by sight what all of these are. And it's just really nice to have on hand. I have reached for it multiple times just to, you know, if I need, if I have a headache or if I have the sniffles or something, it's nice to have it on hand. And it's small and compact. This is definitely linked in my travel favorites. Um, let's see if there's anything else interesting. This, I love these OxyClean pens. I think they're so much better than tied to go pens, but it's the same idea. I just personally think they work better and all that kind of stuff. So this always goes in my bag with me. And then additionally, I, in the morning, will throw in my headphones and my Kindle and my phone. So it's not packed out, but it's nice that it has a little snap closure. And so that will be my carry-on bag for this trip, along with the diaper bag. And Riley usually brings a small backpack for himself as well. So that's that. I'm gonna go get a suitcase out of our garage so I can put all of this into it. And then I'm pretty much good to go. That was really fast. Okay, I've gotten my suitcase out. I'm gonna use this hard-sided one from eBags. I've had this for a while. It's a spinner. I really like it. It fits a lot. Um, and I'm going to see how much I can get of me and my kids stuff. Usually on shorter things like this, Riley and I can each get away with taking one of these and then we split the kids stuff between our two suitcases. So that's what I'm going to aim for, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop everything in here and kind of see where we are.
Okay, everything is packed now. The only thing that I left out is my toiletry bag because I put some things in there that I will work out of tonight and tomorrow morning. I always do that the day before a trip so that I don't forget them. And then I also left out that little makeup bag so that I can put on some light makeup before we go tomorrow. But other than that, everything else is in this suitcase. So I'm going to just fold it up and set it to the side so I can throw a couple more things in it in the morning. I may, because I have all of the kids stuff in here, I may ask Riley if he will take, which he does a lot, um, my toiletry bag because, you know, he'll have plenty of room. He almost always has plenty of room. So he can take those two things in his case. I think this one's just about done. We do have a luggage scale, so I'll go ahead and weigh it here shortly to make sure. But I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yep, that'll zip just fine. And uh, we will be on our way. It is really nice because we have a... Our, our flight tomorrow is at like 10.20 a.m., which means that we don't have to wake up at... 3 a.m. because we have done that many many times and <laughs> it's a bit much okay since I have time I've been wanting to do this before we go um but I um didn't know if I would have time but I got packed really quickly so I cut this out on my Cricut it says Grammy and Pop Pop Bound that's what my ki kids call my parents and I thought they could wear these on the airplane tomorrow and um I'm gonna get this little random piece out and my parents will think that's super cute and the kids will think it's super fun. There we go. So um, I have this little, this is like a tiny little heat press. It's really funny that I'm doing this at home because Riley literally has the commercial size of all this stuff. But there's just something satisfying and fun about doing it at home yourself. So I'm going to heat press this and, uh, and then I'm going to make Collins. This one's the size four, so this is for Nora. And then Colin will have a matching one. They can wear these tomorrow and my parents will love it. I just finished making these adorable shirts. They turned out so cute. The color of the t-shirt is actually pretty accurate on camera. It's like a light, light, light green color. Um, I think this will tickle my parents. So I am going to set these out for the kids with some, you know, pants and shoes and clothes and whatever. And I'm glad I got to do that. I was wanting to and I didn't think I was gonna have time, but lo and behold, I did have time. Okay, it is like 8.30 now, the kids are asleep, Riley's home from work, our babysitter has been sent on her way. We're pretty much completely packed. We're just doing the last minute things like taking out the kitchen trash and doing the dishes and just like tidying up the house, all the things that we always do before we leave. This was a very smooth and easy process. It, it's nice to only pack for a short amount of time where there's really only one event that we need specific types of clothing for and everything else is just casual. It's I was surprised at how easy and smooth and quick it all went. I think I'm used to packing for Disney, which is just like a little bit more complicated. So I actually have not eaten dinner yet. I'm very hungry. I'm going to go grab something to eat and um, rinse off the bronzer from the self tan in the shower so I don't stain my sheets tonight. And um, yeah, I think that's all. And then I'm going to go to bed and I am really looking forward to seeing my family in the morning. Many of the people like family members that I have up there, I haven't seen since last Easter. That was the last time I went up. So um, I, I don't think I've seen my aunt and uncle or cousins. Um, I know I haven't seen my grandparents. My best childhood friend, Olivia, had another little baby and I haven't met her baby yet. Um, so anyway, I'm just, it's going to be wonderful. I hope that you have had a wonderful Easter weekend if you celebrate and are feeling relaxed and have had some good family time. Let me know how it was and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for being here.